So we're here at the ID Tech X show and uh, hi, so who are you? I'm Mario Grafel from Zen3 and I'd like to show you our uh, latest uh, dem technology demonstrator. Yeah, so what is this? This is a universal sensing uh, platform as a system in a package which can be attached uh, package on package with additional functionality. In that case, it's a wireless charging uh, function. This is very small. Yeah, this is quite small because it's a wafer level technology which we want to enable also for um, for startups and also for small and medium enterprises. So you have these uh, modules here? Yeah. These so are, what is what are all these? Yeah, this, they are always uh, consist of the same module. This is a base module. Yeah, and in the base module there's a powerful application processor and, and a Bluetooth um, uh, low energy uh, RF functionality. There's also a nine um, axis uh, inertial sensor inside and DC-DC and uh, uh, regulator and everything you need is just a plug a battery and then it will work. Yes. And you have the possibility additional to, to solder your own uh, application on top of the package and so you get a very, very small and compact uh, system from the first prototype on. So what do you solder on? Your own for application, example, what is that? Yeah, for example, this is an example. This is done uh, usually made by the customer, but this is an example for ambient sensing. These are a uh, module with uh, gas sensor, with temperature, with uh, humidity and pressure. For oh, that? An, for an, for an, uh, this could be an example of an air quality uh, monitoring application. But the application itself uh, uh, comes completely from the customer. We just, we just uh, we just uh, saw the system itself. So can I see all the logos that are on the... Uh, oops. Yeah. Uh, here, so I see a little... Yeah. What are the logos? Yeah, this, yeah, this is oops. not... This is from a, from a former uh, project which we commercialize uh, now. The lo so the logo is not very important at the moment here because it's not sensory. <laughs> okay. But uh, this is um, from an older project which will be commercialized now in our in our product line because. But you, it says uh, VBAT. What does it say? VBAT. No, I, um, it's it's so ah, no, small. This is a this is a battery. This is just a, 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 the battery uh, um, okay. connector point. These are so small. It's yes. like you can only swallow it and you're still fine, right? Yes. <laughs> so, um, so what are the chips inside? Is yeah, it like an ARM a, processor? Or this no? is an ARM processor inside. In that case, uh, ARM Cortex M0 Plus and M0. M0. And in that case, uh, but uh, the the new part, which is still under development, yeah. uh, there will be the first prototypes will be ready in the middle of next year. So there will be a very very powerful RISC uh, RISC V core inside. So you're doing risk five? Yes. Okay, no, uh, sorry, can you hold it right here? Yes, of course. So um, it's a complete owned uh, development. How does that differ from the ARM Cortex M0? It's much, much, much more powerful. It's a cluster core with nine cores inside, uh, running uh, between 400 and 600 megahertz. So it's ready for image processing, AI, and and other uh, way um, extensive um, uh, sensor. Sensor data fusion. Uh, is it kind of like an ARM Cortex M4? M more powerful. Or it's, M7? Uh, yeah, m more like M7. I'm not so familiar with the ARM uh, product line, but I think it's, it's it will be much more powerful. Does it work? Yeah, this is a dummy. This uh, the, the, this is still under construction. Is tape, it here? Yes. The tape out will be uh, uh, um, very soon. The first tape out of this high bandwidth system. internal bus. And 22 nanometer. Yes, we are. What is the other one? Nanometer here. This is uh, this is not in, in, in a silicon fabrication. So we use a, a ready um, a ready chip from from Nordic in that case. And and this is an own development in 22 uh, nanometer FDSOI technology from Global yeah. Foundries. Own development. Yes, with, this is under development. This is a more in. So inside, this is a little bit different. It's more a chiplet because it's a combination of different chips. And here inside, there will be more or less only the, the RISC V core with some passives. And uh, this uh, RISC V core is a complete own development. Uh, but from I the technology point of view, logo. 
Yes, is it Fraunhofer it's, Project? It's, it's a Fraunhofer. It's, it's together a Fraunhofer project together with uh, Global Foundries. But the, the Nordic Semiconductor solutions are very optimized, very low power. Yes, yes. They're pretty great, not to use. They're pretty great, but this has much more functionalities and, and, and power inside, especially uh, uh, security functionalities, which we miss, and, uh, and, and, and the cluster core. All right, but there is also the ARM Cortex M33 or 23 that yes. have security. But how is yes. the security going to be different on this one? There's a complete security subsystem. So you have a lifecycle management. You can store. Uh, yeah. You can store. Uh, certifications and keys uh, in, in one-time programmable uh, memory and the device knows every time uh, in which condition it is. So it's, if it's in FAP, if it's out of FAP, you have signed code uh, on the bootloader and in special uh, boot areas. You have a differentiation between a machine mode and a user mode like uh, under Linux but in hardware. Machine mode and? Mm, user mode. Uh, so hardware Separation. It's hardware. it's hardware separation. Yes. And uh, isn't this years away, or no. is it no. very soon? It's very soon. Yes. It says tape out 2009. Yes. This year will be the tape out and the complete package and product. So as you can see it here, will be ready in the middle of next year. Did Fraunhofer make chips before? Yes, of course. There are uh, some institutes which are dealing with silicon, uh, like silicon arm industry. chips or. Uh, usually they don't use ARM chip. I think these are more, not, not all institutes uh, develop application processors. So sometimes <coughs> they, they produce or they develop, um, for example, sensors, like MAP sensors. And so on. Uh, sensors, but this is the first time that anybody at Fraunhofer is making like a CPU? Um, no. Not the first time, I think. Um, I don't know it actually. But, uh, in former times, I'm not sure if they used an arm okay. or if they didn't. All right. And uh, there's the whole, um, uh, with Global Foundries, they provide the whole tool set to yes. make it work and uh, yes. very Perfect. smooth. Yes, yes. Is, we is want to provide it for, and usually if you're a big, a big customer and you, 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 have a, you, have, you want to produce a product in 5 million or 10 uh, million pieces, then it's no problem to talk uh, to global foundries and uh, to, to, to apply a supply chain. But if you, have a small, if you are a small company or a startup, then you have a problem and that gap we want to uh, close. But um, how about the software is not compatible, right? The software in, in the project also... It's a different software. Yeah, this is a different software. Yes, that's true. This, but it's also uh, GCC based. Uh, like this one, this is an ARM compiler for sure, and this is a RISC compiler, but it's also a, a RISC GCC. Is so the tool chain is now uh, also under development. Is it easy to recompile? Yes. You just click one button? Yes, that's it. And then, all right. Uh, are there other, uh, other projects that are similar out there? Some companies are doing? And what will happen Probably. with this? Are you going to be selling the module the, or the selling the IP? You're selling the module? And also the, the, the software with the model comes with the model, yes, an All SDK. Right. And so, um, how old is the company? Uh, three um, three months, approximately, months. yes. So, is it a spin-out of Fraunhofer it's, or is it Fraunhofer? It's more, yeah, it's a more joint venture. It's, yeah, uh, Fraunhofer is one of the shareholders, some Fraunhofer institutes. And, um, but it's more or less a, a joint venture between Global Foundries, Fraunhofer, and a third investor from Berlin, next big thing. Next big thing. Yes, this is the IoT. And this is the size of the Yes, this is the size. Uh, and, and what's the, the price? Structure. Yeah, that's a good question. But it could uh, it will be not it will be compatible to to uh, solutions uh, without sensors. So it should be in the, a couple of euros. But does it do something that no other module can do? It could do. Maybe, but uh, usually they don't do it for small and uh, medium enterprises and, and startups in that um, um, constellation. We have the luck that we have this uh, big uh, development project which is running now and is funded by, by a little bit light, uh, from the government also. And this closes the gap for the development. And it says uh, Ethernet time sensitive networking mm -hmm. and CAN FD. It sounds like something for the cars or no? 
It's for industrial applications more in that case. These both uh, uh, um, connectivity, so uh, CAN flexible data rate is often used in industrial area and also Ethernet uh, time sensitive networking is quite new standard which is completely implemented in the device as an IP core. But here you have a different kind of modules, some yeah. are Bluetooth. Yeah, all of them here have Bluetooth. This is a, a first starting point. This was a demonstrator, but maybe I think now to commercialize it also as a product.